everyone. Welcome to our latest business showcase. Today, we have the pleasure of having Tiana. Tiana is a transformational teacher, intuitive business strategist, founder and CEO of the BizBabe Academy, Business Women Rising, which is an informational networking group, a new founder of marketing agencies, TM Marketing and Consulting. She stands for women who want sovereign financial power, confidence, and total health because women do business and life differently. So welcome, Tiana. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. You are so welcome. And man, that's a long list of things that you've got going on. You are a busy, busy woman. I am. I am. Um, so tell me. Freeze. So tell me, how did you get your businesses businesses started? Um, let's see. Well, it all started. So when I was 24, I opened up my own web design business just as like a side hustle. And I've been doing that for quite some time. Three years ago, I got trained as um, an NLP practitioner and I started coaching women in self-confidence and I was doing everything part-time, but I never really took the jump into my own stuff. Um, and then probably when COVID hit, I worked from home for a month when I was the marketing manager for some retail centers in town and just decided like, it's that, it's that switch that I think COVID did for everyone really. That was like, ah, uh, something's not working. Um, for me, it was, you know, I was always working for someone else's dream instead of really pursuing mine. So anytime I would get like a head start on what I actually wanted to do, it would be like, no, you have to work and you have to provide for your family. And my health would go down the drain and I was stressed out all the time. And finally I was like, no, like I'm going to actually pursue this for myself. So I just took what I knew in marketing and sales and um, confidence coaching for women um, hired a business coach, which was the best investment that I've ever made and just delved into, um, this, I guess this multi-platform business that I have that, um, really just supports women in making money, doing what they love. Yeah. Amazing. And, and I know you do incredible work with women. Um, so tell me a bit about the Biz Babe Academy that, that has so many different areas as part of it, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So that was my, that was my first, um, I guess offer that I put together as part of my business because I, I am so passionate about women being able to, because they have the kids and they have the, um, I guess the, you have to be a wife and a mother and you have to run your business now. It's not like, like there's two working people in a household now. And for me, um, you know, I'm, I'm really passionate about women being able to support themselves, but also have time for having fun and self-care. And so that's how I created the Biz Babe Academy. And it was basically like, I see so many women struggling financially in business because there's two really, really important things when you start a business and that's lead generation and sales. Um, and when it comes to lead generation and sales in the digital world now, you're having to get up on camera and do these types of things and get on podcasts and really talk about what you believe in. And there's the self-confidence element to that. So yes, like, you do have to learn strategy and marketing. And yes, you do have to learn sales and you have to be confident in that, but you also have to have that self-confidence and trust in yourself or anything is just gonna tear you down. So the Biz Babe Academy I created for those women who are like, yeah, like I absolutely want to pursue my dreams. And it's a very different program because it takes a, spiritual aspect as well um so if you read any book like um how to stop worrying and start living by dale carnegie and um let's see i'm trying to look at all my business books here uh think and grow rich by um napoleon hill he 
both of those books talk about like the laws of the universe and laws of attraction and things like that, that so many people miss in business. And it's kind of like this woo woo concept. Um, when really in actuality, if you just, I guess, make it logical, all it is is really focusing on what you want and blocking out everything that isn't what you want to be focused on. And so where focus goes, energy flow or where energy, yeah, where focus, it's been a long day, but where focus goes, energy flows. And that's when things start to grow, right? Um, so it's teaching people the mindset hacks that they need to know, but also teaching them the high level marketing strategy and how to be like, to unapologetic, unapologetically own what they do so that when it comes to making a sale, they're like, heck yeah, like it's gonna be this amount of money because I know what I have to provide for you is totally worth it. Um, so getting women to that stage for me was like my absolute passion. And, and your business actually grew quite quickly once you made that decision, once you made that like, I'm done working for someone else, I'm, I'm ready to just be me and focusing on what I wanna do. You know, you still had to provide for, for your kids and, and be a mum and balance all of that. But your business went from like zero to like up here in a matter of weeks. Yeah. So um, when COVID hit and I went home, I, you know, I was having the conversation with my own coach as to like what would happen if I left my corporate job. And so I kind of like went over all the what ifs, like living off of government income and or finding another job or just going full on into my own business. So he was like, okay, well, you know, if you, um, if you were in a plane and someone tossed you out a window, but you knew like you had a, a parachute on, would you learn how to fly? And I'm like, uh, yeah, that's my life on the line. So, um, yeah, so I put in my six, I put in six weeks at work because I still wanted that comfort, like a month and a half. Like I figured I'd at least make enough income to make up for it. And, um, and so within a matter of six weeks, I had made $35,000 in the first month of starting my business. So then you were just like, oh, I'm just, I've done this live. <laughs> Well, it was all of the emotions mixed into one. Um, and hold on, Alex, go away. See, hey guys, she's a mom as well. Yeah, I'm a mom as well. So yeah, I am. I and the thing about it was is that um, I'm a single mom, and I had no savings whatsoever. So it was really just like I was winging it. <laughs> but it, like for me, it's it most of that money didn't end up going to me anyway. It ended up going to my business coach. But the fact of the matter is, is that I made the investment in myself. I really pursued what I wanted. And now everything from here on out is only growth. So it was just, I guess, really a testament to, um, it, like, if I can do it as a single mom of two kids with no savings account, that's a, quite a risk. If I can do it, like, anyone can do it. So, you, you know, your background is in marketing and, and, you know, communication strategies and that sort of stuff. So what piece of advice would you give to, to business owners out there in terms of, you know, making a, a solid investment in their marketing strategy from the start? Because obviously you knew what you were doing in that space, but you still needed to go and do the work for it. There's plenty of people out there who don't know how to do it. What's your top piece of advice for that for them? For investing in marketing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I hear a lot of business owners complain that, you know, it's the economy or it's, you know, it's something else outside of themselves. Like it has nothing to do with the product that they're providing, the amount of marketing that they're doing, the amount of money that they're putting out. And my thing is, is that you have to put money out in order to get a return. And that too is um, like a law of the universe, right? It's like, it's that law of reciprocity. You have to give and take. If it's only going one, one direction, it stops the flow. 
So like, for example, a builder like or a construction worker couldn't do his work if he didn't buy the tools first. And he, could, he wouldn't get the work if he didn't tell people what he was doing and what he could offer. And so marketing is that piece. It's do you have the tools that you need to build a sustainable business? And it's ongoing, but you have to do it the right way. That's where the high level strategy comes in is people put a lot of money into Facebook ads, but they don't really know how to communicate it. So yeah. it's really important that you get the copyright, that you get the imaging right, that you put project out what you really are, but also getting clear on that yourself. Like there's so many people that I meet that are like, I'm, um, for example, in the coaching industry, I'm a coach, like I'm a life coach. And I'm like, yeah, that's amazing. But what, what is a lot? Most people don't know what a life coach is. Um, you know, like as an accountant, most people know what an accountant is, but they don't specifically know how it helps them or why they need an accountant. So it's all, it's all in the storytelling. It's all in the, the stuff that you're putting out there. And marketing is such a huge piece if you want more clients. Yeah. And you've just recently uh, taken that next step with your marketing business as well. Tell us about that. Yeah, I did. So what I found when I was coaching um, business owners in marketing and sales is that the women who were already at a point in their business where they were getting a good amount of leads, but they like they still wanted more, but they wanted to be able to step into their business and do what they love instead of the things that, you know, they know that they have to do. And so I was like, it would be amazing if, because I already have the skills, I have the team, I have a web designer now, a photographer. Um, so I started up the TM marketing and consulting. So it's a piece of the business for people who don't want to do their own marketing, that want the good website, that want the, the good funnels, that want to get their marketing together. Um, that, that they just don't want to do it themselves. And so, yeah, that's why I started the TM marketing and consulting. And there is a big consulting piece to it because it still starts from the internal space outward. So if the CEO of the company doesn't know what they want, then the rest of your team is not going to know what they have to do. So it's really important that um, not only do we do your marketing, but we work from the inside out, whether it's training your team in sales, whether it's um, working with the CEO to actually integrate the values of themselves and their business, because really it's, it's just an extension of them until they move out of the business, but really building um, strategies and structures to where, um, because most people don't start a business because they want to work 70 hours a week. <laughs> they start a business because they want to make money and they also kind of want to have time for themselves while still having a good income. So it's allowing them to readjust their business model to where they can market really well, have an amazing team, um, and also start to think about kind of moving out of the business in a safer way. Amazing. And all of your businesses all work together. They, they all kind of flow from between them all backwards and forwards to create end-to-end -end products for business women predominantly mm -hmm. um, and I think that's absolutely amazing so I am so grateful we had you today and to talk about that marketing piece and really about how people really need to put in the right time and the right messaging there and you know if you guys need help with your messaging or you need help with any of your marketing strategy please reach out to Tiana um, engage her services and and get that marketing messaging and um, getting your storytelling right for your business. So thank you so much, Tiana, for joining me today. Um, I have actually really enjoyed this and I love talking about how business women can take themselves forward and not just work on one piece, but work holistically across all aspects. So thank you again for your time today. Thank you so much for having me. It was a pleasure.